everybody, this is Jack Music greeting you with lots of aloha. And it is 6.37 a.m. on Monday, January 16th, 2023. And I am about to get to work, so I'm going to take some notes here before I get going. I would need to check my note card, or my notes, but, but filming on the camera cannot uh, look those up. But, but anyway, I've got hundreds of stuff ready to go on the ground today. Uh, bed 6 is exposed, ready to be amended, and harrowed. Uh, bed 1 is, is exposed, ready to be amended, and harrowed. And I think uh, I'd also like to do in the next two days beds 2 and bed 5, which are not exposed yet. So that'll probably be pretty quick to uh, hoe those to kind of knock back the nut, nut sedge a little bit and then amend those. And then I think I'd like to run the power harrow on the BCS tractor, the mini tractor, and harrow those four beds. So this hedgerow bed I, I prepped yesterday. And um, this is where I will be able to fill this whole thing, all 100 feet of it, with zinnias. And I kind of covered it up uh, to help uh, keep the keep it fluffy, keep it keep the tilth, keep it not uh, keep it from compacting. And we got this one all amended yesterday. I couldn't find the boron, so uh, I did a light. I did the uh, amendment protocol, but I, I mixed it light and not the full. Like instead of a full 12 pounds for the Bioflora. Uh, 566 or 655 or whatever it is um, I just did like 10 pounds and with all the so even mixing the fertilizers kind of light it, it uh, probably the flowers didn't need that much oh walked so far away yeah oh we got the strings twisted up. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, there's a... Looks like a mouse. Poor guy. Yeah, so that kind of... I was trying to keep it perfect. Yeah, no worries. And I also covered this up because I left, uh, I did this uh, in the morning, the heat of the day. I left the farm side about 1.25 p.m. yesterday, baking hot, and just to be nice to the amendments, even though I incorporated them into the soil really well, uh, I covered them up so that then the, um, that hot sun wasn't baking those amendments and cooking them. So that's what the cardboard was as well. We'll be using cardboard is great, great mulch. It breaks down. And two layers of cardboard, like one of these Home Depot boxes, can uh, kill the nut sedge. It can come up through a lot of mulches. But if you give it two layers of cardboard and then a layer of mulch on top of that, it is not able to come up through that. And you could, if you have a really thick field of uh, nut sedge, like I do, you can. Um, Put down a good uh, two layers of cardboard or a box like that, layer of mulch, and you can plant right on top of it. And then in time, the plant's roots will grow through the um, cardboard, and the cardboard will knock down, will keep the nut sedge from, and other weeds from, uh, it'll knock those down, and then you can plant right on top of them. So, yeah, I've been here, had a quick breakfast. 
Um, so this will, yeah, we've got hundreds of uh, zinnias to go in here. Should be able to fill up the whole bed. And then over here, the second, pri probably the higher priority, but the bed is not ready yet, um, is uh, the sunflowers that are going to go in bed six here. Those probably need to be done a little bit more than the zinnias, but that one's ready to go. And um, I do have amendments mixed or, or uh, portioned out for one row, but which could be row six for the sunflower. And then maybe it takes about 20 minutes or so to do with the rake uh, to get it um, incorporated by hand. But since I'm going to do all four rows today, I think, uh, one and two and five and six, hopefully, I want to run the harrow for the first time. So we'll need to. I brought all these buckets so that um, I have plenty of, but there were, a, there was a dearth of buckets here on the farm site. So I brought plenty of buckets so I can amend these. Um, so we'll see how much I can do before it gets too hot to continue. Uh, I had this, uh, straw bale and this alfalfa bale, so I brought those to use for mulch. There's plenty of grass here. Uh, I didn't have enough space in the car to throw in my mower. There is a mower on site here, um, but I'd prefer to use mine. So the grass would be great mulch that I could put down after I transplant the zinnias. Uh, but there's a little too much time, and so I'd like to be able to get things mulched as soon as they're planted. So I, th I had these old uh, bales, so I thought, well, let's just use those, and then I won't need to take the time to mow to get the grass. I'll be able to mulch things right away. And, um, <clears throat> and then time permitting tomorrow. So maybe we can get those planted, transplanted in, mostly get the amendments onto the, uh, get the fertilizers onto rows one, two, and five, and six, and get those harrowed, and get the bed prep done, and then, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, I could get the sunflowers planted into row six. Uh, the highest priority, at least what needs to be transplanted the most right now, is bok choy, which goes in bed two. And my uh, uh, tomatoes for bed one are ready to go in the ground now, so it would be nice to be able to get those in. And yeah, some of my, uh, for bed five, my heirloom tomatoes are ready to go as well. So that's why it would be nice to be able to then uh, get my transplanting done for beds one, two, and five, and six. Um, so yeah, everything's going to be really good. This is really beautiful, isn't it? And then I'll, um, I got the, let's see, here's the yardstick. And I'll double check the seed packet. I think the zinnia is like a 18-inch um, spacing. So then we'll do the intensive uh, planting uh, here, where we'll be planting them on the diagonal. So I'll measure out like 18 inches. And so one will go at the tip of the yardstick, and then one will go here where it's crossing it. And then... We'll measure out the other 18 inches, and then they will kind of uh, zigzag along the bed here to be able to make the most efficient use of the space. And then I'll come back later, and I'll put in uh, some stakes and some strings, and we'll stake them up so they have support. So yeah, super stoked. Wonderful day. Beautiful day. <clears throat> So this is, uh, oh, you can see the boats, maybe not on the film, you can see boats heading out to go fishing probably, something like that. <clears throat> 